Dungeon here. Welcome back <laughs> to another episode on the Hermitcraft Amplified server. I hope you guys are having a great day. Every time I do this, I'm scared to weed. I told you I was going to weed eat. <laughs> I'm scared to break the grass and the flowers and stuff. There's like good stuff all around here. I, I never know where to start. And they have five modes, though. So awkward. Anyway, um, I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm here at the Riverwalk again. And I was under the impression that we would do pretty good with our advertising but y'all we did really 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 good not only did we get tango to come and put his request in but xb and top mass also came so let's let's start with xb's form <clears throat> dear zuljin i have received the free interior design estimate coupon do i ever have a job for you xb so he's got a large open area at his underwater base that he wants me to decorate which is really cool here's top mats quotes and kisses by top mass dear z i'm so glad to hear that isaiah has opened and i was recently thinking of redoing my kitchen please give me a price quote and we can talk business toppy sweet I love kitchens, I love kitchens, I love kitchens. Okay, request form from Tango. Tango needs help at my base. Large main entrance needs some love. <laughs> so I actually went over to Tango's on the last video and I looked around there and ever since then I've done a little bit of snooping as well and I'm fairly certain that I have some ideas that he might like. Uh, I'm hoping at least, but Tango's not on today. It's just me and XB right now and he's working on another tunnel. So I am going to actually get started on some stuff of my own today. Uh, I have three to five business days to contact each one of those guys. Actually, I talked to almost all of them already about doing some stuff so we'll be getting that scheduled really really soon today i really want to work on a bathroom i went into um went to the hills areas right outside uh of slipgator's base kind of where the amaze balls are and i formed a little bit of snow so i can do some stuff and also had a little bit of junk on me from an attempted prank but i decided not to uh <laughs> But anyway, we'll talk about that later. So I took my bed from here and I think a great space for my bed. Actually, it was outside of here, wasn't it? I'm, I was so distraught. Like, I'm, I'm excited about doing some interior decorating, you guys. And it's been a little while since I did some with uh, the Fateful 32 pack. And, uh, well, the bed was making me crazy here. And I decided, well, you know what? I need a bedroom. And I don't know how the placement of the bathroom is going to be yet. But I have decided on a spot. So the bedroom and bathroom is or going to be is going to be or going to be on this side. And I think I want to do a cool entrance to the bedroom room right here and the bathroom back here so I think that's gonna be pretty good I'm right now I'm gonna place the bed temporarily because this could be a pretty good spot for the bed the thing about beds in Minecraft or they don't look good at all so I'm probably gonna end up doing a fake bed as well as a real bed but uh, we'll see about that today I really want to do a bathroom so I need to gather up a little bit more materials to make sure that I'm ready but I think I'm gonna get it started right here I'll bring you guys back when I have a design in mind and we'll start working on it all right you guys so this is gonna be a little interesting I thought I was going to do a bathroom and separate it totally from the bedroom and I think what I want to do is a parcel separation with an accent wall so that it can kind of double for both rooms and since we rock in this nice white everywhere that we go uh, I think I'm gonna go with something black I'm also going to separate the ceiling here as well so what we'll probably do instead of the original idea and shoving the bedroom all the way back here I think the bedroom is going to be a little bit wider and we're going to shove the bathroom in this area here so let's start out with the small accent wall and let's go I guess we'll go five high and we'll do f five wide I think five wide will do okay so this is gonna be the partial wall for the bathroom and uh, to tell you the truth that's a little high for what I was expecting and I can go one wider right there so let's go ahead and take these down and I'll come out one wide that way it'll be it'll be a little bit wider and if we need to come out a little bit more we can because I have plenty of coal we can actually go one more if we wanted to and this should be plenty there we go that's the partial that I was talking about so now we can always just come off of here with some sort of like white glass and stuff to make it 
a um, official, you know what I mean? To kind of come off of it just like this. And this will be like the bathroom area. So I'll come out with some diorite too because we're going to be squaring some of this off. So let's just take the diorite and run it up till about right there. And we're going to we're gonna be sealing in this ceiling area anyway. So let's go ahead and put some here. And that should be good. I should be able to take quartz slabs now and kind of mark this area off. So I'll do this. And that should be perfect. Now I can actually do snow blocks there too if I need to to mark off a little bit of quartz. I don't know. It just needs to be a cap. Actually, black wool would be pretty good right there too to make the cap. Let's go ahead and do that instead. I'm going to take off all of these and I'm going to come back with some black wool. That way the contrast can be all the way around to the white. And I think it'll work better like that instead of having uh, the entire deal. But we can get to that in a little bit. I'll try it out. So this is going to be the bathroom area all in here. And we can start getting rid of some of these torches. Although it will get a little bit darker. But don't worry about that, you guys. So we need a couple things first. We're going to need a sink, a toilet, and a tub, naturally. Now, I was thinking a great place for a shower as well. So let's open this up. And I think we're going to have... A really really cool looking shower here let's take down these and I'm actually going to take these portions of the wall and turn those into polished eye right I think that'll work out well and it'll be like a tower shower design it'll be pretty cool um, and we just won't use this tower for any sort of stairway or anything else. Uh, that's the beauty about having a lot of space to work with. Okay, where is that? It's polished die, right? I have two here. Let's do a few more. All right. Now we got a little bit of die right to work with. So let's place it here. And here. Now we can come across with the shower door is just like so and we have all the inside left to work with now what we need to do is place a probably a light and a floor in here so the light I don't know what I'm gonna do yet let's go ahead and just place a torch so we can see what we are doing and I think what we'll do is come across with um, we need some sort of a grid pattern I think iron might do good as far as blocks are concerned so if I did iron right here and came out just like so because we have plenty of iron due to the iron form I think that's gonna work out really really well let's do that and finish off in the back okay so now we have a working stream for the shower and we have a little a little pocket for it so let's see what can we do now to actually get the shower itself hooked up maybe we can do a little bit of quartz in here which I'm gonna use the slabs instead I believe and let's start here and come how about like this okay and then from there we're actually going to come in one more what can I use I don't have any scrap blocks I guess I can use a block of die right here. I thought I heard some footsteps. I'm hoping there's no creepers around. This place isn't lit <laughs> as well as it could be. Okay, so let's use just die right right here. And we'll place the... Uh, where is it now? My quartz slabs. There we go. We'll place quartz slabs on the inside just like this. like so all right that should be good now we'll place we'll need to come across <laughs> we'll need to come across with the quartz like this and we'll need a little bit more let's go to our crafting bench right quick and make some more slabs actually Let's just make a little bit more. There we go. And we'll take the quartz and place it 
Uh, is that on the wrong level? Yes, it's on the wrong level. These things are kind of squirrely sometimes. All right, there we go. So we're ready. Now, if I take this and change it out to, uh, I'm gonna have to boost just to get that. There we go. <laughs> change it to a sea lantern. Compliments of XB. Should be good to go. All right, now that's what I'm talking about. This is shower esque. Shower esque. <laughs> All right. So instead of the solid um, quartz right here, let's change out a few of these to glass blocks. We'll change out the corners, I believe. There we go. And if we change all of these to glass blocks, which I do want to go up there and get it, we'll do white glass in these corners. We'll do like that, like that, like that. And let me go up here. <laughs> let me pillar up right quick to get this stuff. So much easier and creative, you guys. So much easier. Okay, there we go. And we'll break this while we're here too. And I'll have to go on top of here eventually and put some lights so we'll be able to see all the way up. Actually, we could probably do some underexposed light right now with torches. Uh, let's see. Can we? We can probably do... Let's see. If we did a torch here, we'll be able to see those, though. That's the only thing I don't like about that setup. Hmm. We do have that little bit of light. I think that's going to be okay. Maybe we can do... Another light, probably somewhere else, because that's going to show from the outside, though. So we can't do that. Hmm. Very interesting. Um, maybe, just maybe the torches will be all right. We'll try it for now. No, I think, <laughs> I don't think we're going to use the torches at all. Let me try to figure this out, you guys. I'll be right back. So what I decided to do instead of the torches, because it was kind of driving me crazy and I was spending too much time on it, is take the some of the sea lanterns and place them up top, which I just did. Now I'm actually looking for my white glass. There it is. And when we look up, bam, <laughs> it's just like a little added insert and it shows light all the way up the corridor so that's a nice feature and I am satisfied with that the only thing I don't like is the fact that this is sticking out which it should just be up like the rest of them there we go now it's a nice bevel and I also changed up the outside a little bit made it more made the pillars a little bit more pronounced and added a couple of caps so now that I'm th thinking about it though I don't really like the height of these it needs to come down one more I think and boom awesome so what's crazy is that i've never realized how many of these things i would use like i've always used them so sporadically so i guess carefully <laughs> and now that we don't have it it's kind of rough let me just adjust my microphone right quick okay so i've also started making a little bit of a, a ceiling in here so we can flatten this out one of the things that i thought would be cool is that if we wouldn't show this portion of the roof at all um, mainly because that's going to be the bedroom and it's gonna kind of look like I don't know it, it should be different you know so I think this is gonna be a good separation point I'm just going to finish this I guess I should just go up right here and finish it out the thing that I don't know is where I'm going to end it because where the corridor comes out right here it's a little finicky although I have to put a little bit of light right here I think we're gonna have to just end the wall here and make a different a different entrance altogether to this portion I don't know I don't know where I'm gonna end it but I'll keep working on that and um, I'll meet you guys back down there once I finish this for the sink tub and toilet all right you guys so I finished up the ceiling and I joined the ceiling with a top wall just so that I can hide the rest of the room and it's going to look kind of like this plus I'm gonna do some red trim with some nether brick on this side probably and make it look good not too sure if I'm gonna keep the accent wall here on this side I thought it was gonna be shared for a while but I think it's going to look better different because 
I think an inset design would probably be good. There's no way to really emulate a mirror for this thing, but I'm going to do my best for it. So I think I need to do a subdivider for the entrance here because this entrance, this corridor is a little bit more public than that. And you can see straight into the shower kind of. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and knock this torch out and I'm going to do a three by three wall. And because if I come out with another one, it's going to look a little wide. So I think I'm just going to use white stained glass panes just like that that way when you come into the corridor the shower is blocked it should be good there's plenty of place around here and it doesn't look too bad i think it's a good fit okay so now that we have that we can do a little toilet as well and i think the best way to do that is a simple little design using quartz half slabs and stairs so let's go ahead and mark this out this is probably the most modern, simplest target <laughs> toilet that I've ever seen in Minecraft. Bam, there you go. All we need now is a weighted pressure plate, which I already have made. And voila, <laughs> there you go. Modern toilet, good to go. Uh, we need a little item frame here so that we can put a piece of paper in it. Uh, I think I have some paper. Yep, some paper in it so that we can do some toilet tissue and then that will be fine. Uh, the only thing left I think to do is the sink. I was going to do a tub, but I'm not sure if I'll have place for a tub. But let's go ahead and with the sink. So the sink, I like sinks to be a little low because this isn't on the half slab. It's a little bit easier to do a sink that's one high and to do that really well what I usually do is take this and come out just like that. So that's going to be a sink and then we'll do the same thing here. That will be a sink. Oh, that actually has to come back. Now in the middle here. We're on an even, and the easiest way to solve this problem is kind of just to widen up the sinks. So the sinks will act like they're one and a half high instead. Oh, well, one and a half wide. Now all we have to do is put like some tripwire hooks on these blocks, and it would look fine. I might actually do elevate, not elevators, uh, levers too. I'm just not sure exactly how that's going to look. I don't know. I'll have to play with it. Let me get both of those things, and I'll be well, right Well, guys, I definitely decided to do tripwire hooks because levers just look funny i'll show you what they look like so i could do levers right here and right here which don't look bad but now i don't have any spots to do the mirror and i'm thinking that the mirror is going to go back here so i went ahead and i added just like this i took away i put the wall back here and if i put these white stained glass panes in here it kind of does what a mirror is supposed to do. <laughs> I'm hoping it does anyway. So if I put these tripwire hooks right here, they really don't show that it's a faucet either. So I'm not too sure what the deal is or which way to go. I suppose I could take out two of these like so. And that would act as, I guess, a mirror. I could put this coal back just like this and right here. I can put the tripwire hooks and this would be like the sinks and that and that looks a little bit closer to what I would consider a mirror. The only other thing I can do is I can take these out instead of these. Let me get back onto my silk touch. Put these coal blocks back and use the glass as a too high mirror. Like so. And that actually might be a better plan, kind of like mirrors for his and hers. Now, what happens if I put the tripwire hooks right here? Yeah, they kind of function as faucets, so that works out well. Okay, I kind of like that. I kind of discovered that by accident, but so there's no real way to do uh, the back except for diorite, you guys. And I figured that this was an okay deal. The only thing more I think I might want to do is change this last top row with... Uh, the coal blocks. So let's try that out and see how it looks. I know it's a lot of building on camera and trial and error, you guys, but this is kind of my process. So I feel like I need to show you all every once in a while. And does that appear too tall? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it is kind of tall. <laughs> I don't know. There's really no way to do it outside of that. But I'm going to go ahead and opt out. I'm going to take the die right and put it back. So, yeah. You win some, you lose some with ideas like that. At any rate, it's we're going to keep it just like that. All right. Last but not least, we probably need to deal with the lighting. 
I don't think I'm going to implement a tub because a tub is going to be a little bit too large for this area. And uh, we already have the shower, which is ballerific. I love it. Uh, so let's see. We are how wide with this room? We are two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. So if we do three, this is actually the center block. And let's see if we did a center mount. If we did four light fixtures right here. It would actually have to be five to come out with, but we can't do like that. So we would have to pull these off and we would now be, let's see, we would now end up right here. No, it would have to be two. So we'd have to do two different light fixtures like that. And I think that'll be okay. Either that or we can split it up. So if I did, Okay, instead of just kind of talking gibberish on camera, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try out what I think would work best. And if we find a pattern that we like, I'll complete it. So we'll go our standard light fixtures just like this. And we'll do probably another one. How far away can we come? We're two away from that wall, which I never really noticed it kind of balances out. There's three in this corner and three in this corner. There's a weird type of symmetry going on. Okay, so we're two away from actually we're yeah, we're two away from that. So two away from here would be we would start there and then see if I can position this right. Nope, it would have to be there actually. Okay. We'll put our sea lantern in the middle and surround it by glass. Uh, that's actually uh, <laughs> a cooler looking picture than I thought just by accident. See, this is how design happens, you guys. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. So I've got two different light fixtures right here and I can probably do one more, which honestly, I probably need to do just the opposite because if I take away the same, yeah, the thing is, if I take away the opposite, I won't be able to do a third one, and it's going to look kind of funny. Okay, I'll do one more, and that'll go, let's see, we have one, two on either side. Yep, looks good. All right, and I don't know if I have enough glass, so I'll put one here and here. And let's see, do I have any other glass? No. Oh, wait. Maybe I have enough? No. I think I'm one short. Dang it, man. Uh, no, I'm a few short, actually. And I'm actually out of white glass. <laughs> Let me go make some glass downstairs, you guys, and I'll show you all the finished product. All right, you guys, there is the lighting fixtures complete. I really like it for an accidental design. This is pretty darn good. Unfortunately, it doesn't shed that much light into the room. So I think what I'm going to do is implement some lighting here and there. But I want to add a few accessories first. Uh, first of all, let's take some anvils. And in this corner, we're going to make like a little, I guess we can make a lamp. So we'll come up right here like this. And right on top of that, we're going to add a sea lantern. Boom, there we go. That's a little bit of extra light, although I should probably make it come out one more, I'm thinking. So let's change that up. We'll take the, there we go, one down right here, and one down right here. There we go. Um, right here, I also need to place some toilet paper. So I'm going to, yeah, one sheet of toilet paper. <laughs> you out of luck if you ate, <laughs> if you ate crazy food, huh? Okay, cool. Now we have that. Um, this is also a little tough right here to determine what we should do with it. I know I need some light. Maybe I can do like a painting somewhere. I think maybe on this side I might have to do a painting. But for now, I'm just going to put a torch because I really can't decide on what to do. Um, <laughs> okay, so other than that, I'd like to do a little garbage pail. Um, we could put a light underneath it, but it's going to come out to the floor so I think what we might do is just put hmm I'm really not sure how to put light right here let's just do the garbage pail first so I'm gonna take a cauldron and right here I'm gonna put it down 
And right on top of that, I'm gonna use one of these iron trap doors. There we go. And like I said, typically it would be, it would work out very, very well with uh, light underneath it, but unfortunately I don't have, I don't have uh, the room to play with because right down below here is my storage area and I would have to change a uh, big configuration for that. The only other thing that I can do, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to imagine some light fixtures right here. Let's see, I do have two more sea lanterns. If I put a sea lantern, maybe if I put two sea lanterns in the middle right here, I don't really know if that would work. Yeah, actually that does work. It doesn't look bad and it does add some much needed light. I think for a finishing touch, about the only thing we need is some shelving. So let's do some shelving here and we'll also need a little rug. So we'll place two upside down stairs right here so we could put like some plants or something on it. And there we go. Also, maybe some towels installed here and there uh, would be cool for some banners. Okay, so I got that done. Hmm. What else? What else? A rug. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so we want to do, I think I'm going to do a white and a black, light gray. I have all the colors of carpet right here. I think that'll probably be the best thing. So let's see. We want the rug maybe this wide. And I think I'm going to do it like this. And let's go black right here. And then I'll come with black right here. And then we'll do light gray and light gray. Just like that. That's a pretty good rug, huh? <laughs> Except it's a little bit close to the borders. <laughs> Let me play around with this. So I sized down the rug and I'm pretty happy with it. It's it's a unique pattern, but it's not much of a pattern. You can't do much with the rugs at this size in Minecraft, but this will do. Uh, the only thing left is I made a couple banners so I can do some little hand tiles here. I'm going to do one here, one here, and guys, we are going to call that a build. About the only thing else I can do is just maybe add some paintings here and there, and I think that is going to be the gist of the build. I like the way it came out. The room is pretty full. It's not too busy. It has plenty going on in it, and all the elements of a bathroom or here also had to play forever to get that specific painting but it matches everything pretty well and I like the design and I hope y'all did too guys thank y'all so much for watching I hope y'all really enjoyed the episode and as always this is Uljin signing off and we'll see you next time bye